Hey guys, Luke here. I think we're, this is the 20th episode, I think, I hope. So don't sound stupid, but whatever. We're going to get straight into the game. It's Champions Cup. Also, if, you, if you've watched from the start, I'd like to thank you for sticking around. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. So we're going to go with um, our all-white kit, the alternate one. No real particular reason. I mean, I could have went with any of them, really, but just felt like it. I think we're going for pretty much our strongest side, apart from Gundigan. Uh, we've brought in Variety. And, once again, we've got uh, the Woody Rathers. Wow, what a terrible free kick. Um, yeah, so the first one, while oh, it's all loading and all that, first one is Would You Rather Be a Horse Jockey or Be a NASCAR Driver? Now there is perks being like one of them. Obviously, you get money in both of them. Horse like a horse jockey, that's a lot more money in horse racing for sure. I'm not sure exactly like how much money a horse like, jockeys would be, but you assume the amount of money that's in there, like you get for a win, that they get a pretty good percentage of it. Like, I reckon they get way more than what a NASCAR driver is. Plus, uh, I mean, I, I know you get the occasion of like here and there of someone getting like getting hurt pretty badly, but. For the most part, you'd think Good that it's a bit it's safer than NASCAR. I mean, you don't travel at the same sort of speeds. Um, a lot of crashes in NASCAR, especially. And usually, when it's when it's a crash, you don't really get like small crashes. They're pretty spectacular because because NASCAR being just turning right the whole time. Um, it's a lot of uh, one person crashes, and it's like a domino effect. Balotelli, let's save. Should have won that header, that was crap. Yeah, it's horse, horse racing like a jockey is sounding better, but I'm not going to consider that like, for me to be good I have to be real short. I have to weigh barely anything. I have to like, do a lot of training to keep that like under that weight. Um, that sort of thing, a lot of pressure. Because of the lack of huge money, um, I'd say, you know, there's a good chance that, you know, mafia, not mafia, but like underground sort of betting agency sort of things, like, probably get threatened by them, stuff like that. So, lots of things you probably don't really consider. And also, NASCAR's like, it does have fun. If you take away the crashing and stuff, it sounds fun. You go and travel on at fast speeds. I mean, who, who doesn't really like that? Um, yeah, me personally, I'd probably write for it be a NASCAR driver. So 72% said NASCAR driver. Next one's a pretty, pretty interesting one. It's sort of the same sort of thing. Well, not really, but... It's a, would you rather be a professional skier or a professional snowboarder? Now, both are kind of like, very similar. Both in the snow, obviously. Both in black. Uh oh. Let's go for them. Oh no. Gone behind. Like, both can see that, like, both you have to, like, stand on something. Of your skis, you've got, like, two separate ones for both your feet, but. Snowboard. Yeah. But I, can't, I can't really split these two. It's, that's that's how tough it is. Like, when, I, when I've been since though, I skied, but I have a feeling I would rather be a snowboarder. If I had to do it, but in saying that, I probably couldn't do either of them very well. Uh, but I think I'd be I'd be better at skiing. But if if I had all the skills, that was not in consideration. Probably go snowboarding because I know more snowboarders than skiers. I mean, like any scale than those, like Lindsay Vaughn, whatever her name is, and that's because um, uh, Tiger Woods. I don't, I don't even know if she's still a skier or anything. Um, I don't know, like. Like Tora Bright's Australian, she's good. Um, Sean White's mad. Um, I can't remember, there was like a dude who had D2 or some shit, his name was, um, at the Winter Olympics. I can't remember what his name was. Ipod or some shit, he was pretty mad. I didn't know him beforehand, but I like that nickname, so it stuck in my head. What a goal there by Royce Butt. Um, yeah, so I'd go snowboarder. Even though, like, in Skier, Skier does have some, not, like, downhill stuff, but, I don't know. Alright. Alright. 
Can Telly. we get here? Got another one loaded, but I'll do it Attacking after. Well here. I should have put a better the shot on them, yeah, or I should have held it up. It? Uh, this is kind of a Join good one. Is Would you rather be awake during spine surgery and hear the bones crunching, or be awake when they are twisted and extremely broken arm back into place? Um, so, I don't know if both of them, both of them I'm assuming are month black, I won't feel anything. Um, I don't know how much twisting they would have to be doing if it's broken. It's like, when you break an arm you don't really have to twist it too much unless it's completely messed up. I, I'm guessing, I'm going to guess that that's what it, that's what they're going for. It's the extreme, going for like the extreme sort of answer with a broken arm. Oh, spine surgery in the bones. Yeah, like, well, I guess it, if I'm just hearing things, I don't have to see it because I'd be, I'd be able to see my back, obviously. And I wouldn't be really be able to move a hell of a lot because I can't move my spine. Actually, I wouldn't be able to move at all. Whereas broken arm, I can see everything, and, and like when you see things, you tend to. It becomes a lot more traumatic if you see something. Great chance. Got to be. Oh, Balotelli, what a finish. I want to hear the crowd. Yeah, I'd rather be awake during spine surgery. A lot of people would rather be awake when they twisted an extremely broken arm back into place. Hear well, bones crunching. Maybe that's not something you want to hear. Uh, doing spine surgery, well, you don't want to hear bones crunching at all. But I'm guessing well, you want to hear bones crunching when you hear a broken arm as well. I guess it's just the fact that it's your spine and it's a lot more scary. Than don't want to concede. Don't want to concede well, later on to the half. See so you've got some comments are. Nah, I don't know. Can't be bothered. That is half time. Could have had a nice counter attack Anthony there. Oh, would you rather right face a zombie attack or face a shark attack? Um, if it's just one on one, like a one on one zombie, like when they say a zombie attack, does that mean a whole group of zombies? Oh, I guess that could be saying. If it's, would I rather take on one zombie or one shark? I'd rather take on one zombie. Pretty sure I could take out a zombie. Half, Alan, They've got no brain. Really have got down to They're like retarded. In this group. Actually, that was pretty uh, in inappropriate to say, but I'm going to leave it there. The yeah, brain dead, no which is um, uh, it's a nice goal. Yeah, so the, the, like I should be able to outsmart them. Plus, if I get a weapon, I can just whack their head off. They're done with the shark. Like. We're not top of the food chain. I think that's why I don't really like the being in the water, um, like in a beach or anything. But, I mean, it's not entirely because of sharks. I mean, it's just like the skin that I have just like burns easy, and I don't like getting sunburnt, so I don't like going to beaches because you know it's just sunny there, like really sunny. And you're out there for hours, and yeah, my skin doesn't appreciate it, but. Um, sharks are probably another good position. reason. I mean, I'm not scared of the water, but it's just I prefer not to. Like if I if I went to go if I had to go swim in a beach, I can do it. I'm not petrified, but it's just if someone said, "Hey, let's go to the beach," I'm not going to do it. Or at least I'm not going to get in the water. Pogba, terrible finish. Yes, yeah, so I'd rather face a zombie attack. 74 people. 74% Se uh, of people. Um, yeah. And also, it's like hot zombies. I can just smash them. Well, I'll just take out a window. A Bam, they're done. Cuts. They're done for. Hmm. Now, this is an American sort of question, so I probably, probably should leave this one. There's like a kill Abraham Lincoln so that slavery still existed, or kill George Washington so the revolution 
uh, say they lost the American Revolution. I'm not sure what the American the Revolution was. To try and get in. They're holding a high line, but he's offside. Um, well, looks like a lot of people line. said They've slavery exists. But we're going to skip that one because it's inappropriate. Would you rather a spouse with trees as arms? Or a spouse with alligator arms? Um, alligator arms, that'd be funny. Because right, they got like the little small little arms. Like a tree would be kind of... I don't know. I wouldn't really like a tree. Get in the way too much. Alligators ones be funny. Like, I could do anything. Like, they would ha I'd have to reach in with everything. I guess they got claws as well, but... You know, that doesn't really factor in. I'll just... They wouldn't be able to reach me to get to the claws. I see a thing like, see when um when midgets, like they do stuff to midgets, like they do a thing where they hold their head and they, they turn around. That's what it would be like, cause they can't reach. Well, that's what I imagine it'd be like. So I'd get alligator arms. People, trees his arms with 53 percent. Oh, actually, that's a good one. People saying if, if they're like an apple tree or something, you can grow fruit and stuff. I'm not really that big of a fan of apples. I don't think of many things. This is his situation, isn't it? Looking for a goal. I mean, people eat fruit, like myself. Like, if I eat fruit, it's not because it tastes good; it's just because they're good for oh. oh, that's a good save. Like, for a um, would you rather be hung by a noose or be decapitated by a guillotine? Mm, both not pleasant. Both death, obviously. I think I'd rather decapitation. Oh, sorry, I was just yawning there. I understand. Well, I don't really, not don't know for sure, but I believe like when you get decapitated, they you're like sort of still alive for like a few seconds after. Something like your brain still functions or some shit. But like with a noose, um, you have to sit there probably for like, you know. How long can you hold your breath? Like, you can hold it for a pretty long time, well, in terms of like how long it takes to kill you. And for you to actually like, not be able to breathe and all that, and probably be over there for like over a minute, just hanging there. That, mm, I think I'd rather go through the guillotine. Yeah, definitely guillotine. Oh, come on, yeah, Balotelli. Get lucky there, it wasn't was it really his goal? I don't know. Seventy-five percent to the guillotine. <laughs> Back to one of the ones I've already done. Would you? Okay, we skipped that one. So, got it. Would you rather always run or always crawl? That's a pretty good one. Um. I think always run would be the be a much better one. It's like this, like how often do you you'd be able to crawl? Um, like like running and walking are that similar? Like uh, uh, so similar? Like maybe you can just do a slow run? Like who knows? You'd be fit, that's for sure. Plus, if I'm around the house, I tend to end up sort of like doing little runs anyways, like, I don't know, I don't know why, but I just end up doing it like, if I have to run up to my bedroom, I'll run up to my bedroom. So, nice minute, got this one sealed. Thought we were going to lose that one, but no. Nah. 89% said always run, so, yeah, Balotelli gets a hat-trick. Royce got one goal. 4-1 win, domination, and it was away from home too, so that's, enough. that's a really good win. And considering that we lost the first game too, domination. At least they got off more shots than any of our other, uh, other opponents, so credit to them, but they just weren't strong enough to hang with the power of Monaco. It's come to end of the episode, but, and, uh, Thanks, Martin, and if you enjoyed Champions it, well, what's this from Marshall? Transfer winner, you guess he wants to be sold, it's not gonna happen. No, you're not gonna be sold, I'll loan you, maybe. That's about it. Um, yes, yeah, so it's come to end of the episode, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and, uh, subscribe to the channel for more, because you want to see more of this stuff. And also, if you haven't seen them, go back and watch all the other videos. You've got 20 other ones. 
So, lots of lots of uh, hours of entertainment for you, I guess. Alright, see you guys. See you for the next one. Against Renes or something. Renes. I don't know. Alright, see you. Bye.